Hello everybody. In this video I will show you what it looks like if we spin a couple of magnets and view this under a magnetic viewing film. So you basically will see a rotating magnetic field in real time. And for this I have here my field viewer. Let me turn it on. So this is what this array looks like under the magnetic viewing film should be not surprising. We have basically three magnets aligned like this. And yeah, now I will spin it up like this and show you what the field looks like under the viewer. So this is what you're seeing here when it's rotating. And I've adjusted the camera shutter speed to 50 frames per second so you should see kind of the same what I see in real life because as you might know rotating objects on video look a bit different than what they look in real life if you have ever seen a car tire on a video that's rotating they don't look the same as they look in real life but this is really close to what you actually would see and yeah what I actually want to show you is an interesting effect because um, what you see here <laughs> I have a fly friend here <laughs> he wants to be on the video so this is our magnetic field that you see you have both poles here and this white line is the plane of inertia also called block wall and if you just imagine if you rotate this you should have an outer black ring and an inner black ring and a white ring in the center of it. And the way this magnetic viewing film works is basically the darker the color, the stronger the Gauss reading or the magnetic flux is. And if the color gets lighter, like here it's more green, then also the field strength is weaker. So I will spin it up and you will see something interesting. As you can see we have a white ring outside and a black ring inside but on the outside there's almost nothing except for when it slows down like right now you can see the color is coming back on the outside and yeah we have our magnetic field again on the outside but not if I spin it. Let me do this again and I'll try to spin it as fast as I can. Right here like this you will see the magnetic field itself shifts to the inside when it's rotating and yeah, this could be because of course on the outside the rotation speed is um, faster than on the inside but I don't think the difference would make such a difference in what you see here because as it slows down you will see right now it's coming back and before it wasn't there so what is actually going on show you again the I think I don't know if it's entirely true but the magnetic field itself shifts because it's rotating and yet yeah, shifts to the inside so uh, the field of a magnet itself or the magnetic field itself is already rotating so you can imagine this would be like a rotating flywheel or three rotating flywheels mounted like this and if we rotate the rotating flywheels in an arrangement like this this will create a certain effect of I think focusing it inwards and yeah I um, also think this is kinda close to what uh, the field of an AC generator would look like if you could view the field of it when it's rotating I'm not too sure about this but this is what I would imagine what a AC generator when it's rotating would look like under a magnetic viewing film and 
I guess you haven't seen something like this before. So I also haven't seen it before. This is the reason why I wanted to share this. Because I've, yeah, I've just discovered this an hour ago. And normally I experiment longer with things before I post it. But I thought this was so interesting. I wanted to share this right now. Also what you can see on the inside. Um, right here actually almost nothing or a slight trifold pattern right at the center but if I rotate it quite slowly you will see that the color of this trifold pattern will shift which is also very interesting so it, it, it gets lower like here and now you should be able to see it gets more bluish or greenish when it's rotating or while it's rotating and as it comes to a stop you will see it still slightly but not in the same color or intensity let me show you this again I need to spin it a bit faster like this and just watch carefully right at the center and you should see a slight color shift right now this was also a very interesting effect of yeah the rotating field and now I will show you the same but under a huge neodymium magnet so I have here a neodymium disc magnet that is seven centimeter in diameter and one centimeter in height and I've left it in its original packaging with cardboard so it's safer to use because the field of this magnet is of course really strong and it reaches out to where it's staying here of course as you can probably see it still holds it quite well and if I place it right on the center, like this, it will stay very stable. And if I rotate it like this, you will see it yeah, kind of rotates freely and quite long. But if I do the same on its outer edge, get it a bit in the camera like this, you will see it stops really fast. Even a I spin it strong and if I yeah, spin it I already while I spin it feel a resistance so this is of course because of the magnetic field of the big neodymium magnet that kind of slows down or breaks the whole rotating field but if I do this right at the center like this you will see it spins for a very long time and this is what it looks like with the magnetic viewing film. It looks a bit different than before. So this is what it looks like when it's um, standing still. You will see that the field itself has, sh has shifted. So the plane of inertia has wrapped around here in a circular pattern on the outside. For a short comparison without the big neodymium magnet it looks like this and whoops <laughs> with the neodymium magnet underneath it it looks like this and now I will spin it up again as you can see here it forms kind of the same and also kind of the same effect so strong field on the inside but nothing or almost nothing on the outside as you can see here and what is also interesting to notice is slow it down these white lines what you see here where no magnetism is they are forming like this in a circle right to the outside but if I spin it up you will see we don't get a white line here and a white line here or a white circle here and a white circle here but we get one inner white circle so basically the whole field shifts to the inside 
when I rotate the magnet array. Let me show you this again. See this? How the plane of inertia had shifted and if it slows down you will see it yeah, moves more to the outside. I will do this again because it's quite hard to see. So as it gets lower you will see more white is coming to the outside. And then it forms this ring again. And yeah, these are really interesting effects um, to show you what it looks like when the magnetic field or when magnets themselves are rotated. Also the field itself shifts. And when it's at a standstill, it's not moving, the field is different. And this should give you a bit of an idea of yeah, that the magnetic field of a magnet itself is already rotating and it's just like a flywheel or if, with a gyroscope. If you rotate the flywheel and move it along another axis you will feel a counter momentum or a certain force. And yeah, we have basically three of them and if you rotate them you will get a different field. And yeah, I think that's basically it for this video. I um, hope you enjoyed it. So thanks for watching and goodbye.